Hey friends, it's Nicole and welcome to week six of our Theme Park Thursday series. Today we're going to be doing a layout, uh, kind of a busy layout, a collage type layout um, for the Mickey's Celebration Cavalcade, which was the first kind of thing that we experienced at the Magic Kingdom. I think you'll enjoy this video. You know, I'm, this is this is future me. We're about to go back in time to, to former me. Um, this layout was a little hard for me because for a while, I really, really didn't like it. I mean, it was to the point that I was like, I can't show this layout because I hate it. But now I don't hate it anymore. And I hope that you won't hate it, but I hope that seeing my process and seeing how my, um, my thought process worked and what it took for me to turn a layout that I didn't like into one that I really did like um, will be helpful and help you in your own scrapbooking journey. That sometimes if you don't like something, all is not lost. All right, so let's use the magic of video to go back in time on this Thanksgiving day for our Mickey Celebration Cavalcade layout. All right, friends, happy Thanksgiving. I probably said that in the intro, but I'll say it again. What better way to um, celebrate Thanksgiving than with a parade? And so today I'm going to be showing you a parade-ish layout. Um, this is from our time at the Magic Kingdom, and this was actually what they called a cavalcade because during COVID, they stopped doing the big parades and they did these little cavalcades. And we were there in March of 2022 when they were kind of shifting from uh, the cavalcades to the parades. And in fact, later on, we have pictures of the parade. That was one of the main things that my daughter wanted to be there for. So we did actually see the parade or the cavalcade, this one, Mickey's cavalcade three times. Um, and so I have some pictures that are here at the end of Main Street. There's the Emporium for those of you that are familiar with Main Street or with Disney. So I've got a bunch that were there, but then we saw it again. Um, this one is by down by the Hall of Presidents. I, we might have actually seen it four times because I'm looking at this, uh, looking at these pictures, and I'm not exactly sure. This is all Hall of Presidents. I don't know where that one is. My daughter took this one because you can see it has her little Instagram thing, but I actually accidentally cut that off. So, and then this is down by Pecos Bills. And then this is up here by the castle. So apparently we saw Mickey's Cavalcade um, four times in our two days at the parks. And so I'm, I think what I'm going to do, rather than trying to divide it up, and I don't want to scrapbook this three times. A lot of these pictures are tiny, small. Um, I think what I want to do is um, just kind of go through and find the best pictures. I got some good close-ups. I got some not-so-good close-ups. There was one of Mickey waving at me. I know someone else might have thought he was, oh, look, he was blowing me a kiss. That one's absolutely going in. Um, so I'm going to go through, look, and I love this little parade guy. He just looks so happy. So um, I'm going to go through and kind of choose, maybe I'll sort by character. That's a good one of Mickey too, you know, the mouse himself. Here's the whole float. But I certainly don't want to use all of these. And this is kind of what I talked about at the beginning where, um, you know, I, I printed out all these pictures. They were nine cents. I can afford to print them at nine cents and then decide later what I want to do with, that's Mickey, Minnie's, uh, what I want to do with them. So I'm going to go ahead and sort through these um, and then I'll start the layout. Yeah, uh, then, I'll, then I'll talk about the layout that I'm going to choose after I've had a chance to sort through these photos. Okay, I've sorted my photos. Uh, the, the, believe me, these are so, sorted. I pulled all of these out. These are like the less the less good, the kind of the duplicates. These I've set aside. They're all the little dancers because I think I'm going to use those as filler with, for my layout that I'm going to use. I did end up with four of Mickey. I don't know if I like this one where he's kind of, I don't know if he's blowing me a kiss or this one where he's pointing at me. I know he's saying, oh, Nicole, I've missed you so much. So glad you're back. Hooray, you're back. So I might, I don't know which one of these I'm going to use. Um, and then I've got we like a good one of Minnie and Goofy and um, Donald and Daisy. So I'm going to be cutting these up, obviously, to fit these on one double page layout. Um, I think I'm going to use, see, these are the colors in Sweet Summer, but they're also kind of the colors in Birthday Bonanza. So I think I'm going to use Birthday Bonanza again. Um, 
but we're going to see. So I found another idea on Pinterest. Come on, wake up. All right, so this is apparently from a place called Keller's Creations. And these are not things I've uploaded to Pinterest. These are just things I've found. But what, it, what I like about this, this has, I think, 12 photos. But they have across the top some 4-inch or 2-inch, sorry, 2-inch photos. And then they have two rows of 4-inch photos and then more 2 inches. And then they got two six four by sixes these are six by fours four by fours so i'm gonna use this as my starting point but i'm not necessarily going to have it be just like this but it is going to be basically a a background page and i'm just going to use probably white scrap card stock for this and um and then i'm going to fill in all these spaces with either colors or um or photos and just kind of following their basic pattern except that I'm going to put my laptop down next to me and it's going to go to sleep because it's not plugged in but um, I think that's going to give me kind of my starting point so I hope I hope you're seeing that what happens with me is I get these ideas and I I modify them but the sketch gets me going I am not somebody that loves to exactly copy a sketch I like to see a part of it that I like. And for this one, it's kind of that grid pattern with the two inch, the four inch and the six inch measurements. And that's what's going to inspire me. But I'm definitely going to try and do the four, the two inch squares across the top and bottom so I can get as many of these little guys in as I can. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, um, you maybe have seen me make these little templates. I just make them out of scrap cardstock. This happens to be a two inch square. I didn't have to make this again new. I will link in the description to my video where I talk about making these. I know that Creative Memories at one point had some little photo sizing templates that were a, a customer gift, but I love this that I can have any size I need. And in fact, I might need a, a two inch by four inch square for this, this particular layout too. So I might have to cut one of those. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my plain white cardstock. And because I'm not even, none of this is going to show, I'm just using some old cardstock. You guys know I've always saved these. I, my stack is dwindling a little bit because they have switched now to a paperweight. And actually, I wonder if I ought to use the paperweight. I think I am actually going to switch and use the paperweight because you're not going to see any of it and it's going to be layered. So I'm going to switch to paperweight. All right, so these are paperweight. They're, you know, they're a little bit more flimsy and I don't love to use them all the time because they are a little bit see-through, but because nothing is going to show on this layout except for, you know, this this is the this is the base underneath layer. So none of that's going to show. I'm going to use this as my as my base. You could use any any paper, any cardstock if you have uh, pa designer paper that you don't like. I admit it, we all have those papers. There's a couple paper packs that I have so many pieces of and I like. I didn't like them in the first place. I don't know why I ever had ha got them. Um, but I'm going to start with that. I'm going to pull back my, um, my laptop. Uh oh, I don't want to. I keep thinking this is a touch screen. It's not a touch screen. Apparently, I need to invest in a touchscreen or a big giant iPad. Um, so I think I'm just going to play around with this and see and get my layout going. So I want this one to kind of be at the top. So I might, that might fit in a two by four square. So that might be at the top um, mini. The problem is that these pictures are not four by six. These are... Um, digital size so they're four by 5.3 you see they don't go clear down to the six so that's going to affect how i can do this layout because i don't think i have any oh that one's a six okay so i got some four by six but i don't want this to be this big this is just pluto he's easily going to fit in one of those in that two inch square right there this could be a four by four Let's see. Oh, this is a three and a quarter. I don't want that one. 
So here's my whole pile of these little templates. I have some that are circles, two and a half, two by three. I don't really want two by three, two and three quarters. All right, surely I have a four by four. Okay, apparently I don't have a four by four. So I guess I am going to be, in fact, cutting a couple more templates just to have the sizes that I need. And then I just hang these on a hook. I have a little um, magnet magnet hook that hangs over on my little Calex cart. Not Calex. What are those called? Rascog from Ikea. So all the circles go to there. Over two. So for this one, I definitely want to use the cardstock. I guess I'm going to have to move this out of the way. I guess that means I don't have to... Um, link to the other video, right? And I'm going to start for this one. I think I'm going to do a four by four and a four by two. So I think I'm going to do six inch squares to start with for my two little templates. All right, so here's my two little squares. I'm going to need my ruler. Okay, it's over here, and I like to use my grid. You don't. You can use the custom, the custom cutting system mat, and I want to measure a, um, I say a four inch square, and this is a six inch, so that's going to be easy. I'll just measure an inch. So I'm here on the lines, and then one, two, three, four. I probably could have done this on the backs to make it prettier, but I doesn't matter. Okay, so I've measured using my grid. I don't know how exactly accurate that is, so I'm just going to double check. Looks like it's pretty accurate because I don't use this to cut. I just use this to size. And then I'll do the same thing, but I'm gonna do my four by two. And then I'll go one, two. You could also um, print out the size square that you want. If you if you don't want to deal with measuring, you could go in your word processing software and um, and print out the size you want onto some cardstock and cut it out. And then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife. You can use a ruler if you want to, but I found have found that I don't really need to use a ruler because again, we're not going to use this to to cut anything. This is just to help our eyes see what pictures are going to look like after we cut them down. But I love that I have the flexibility of being able to have any size photo template I need um, to get my sizing right. All right, so there's my four by two, four by four. You see, it don't take long at all to put these together and then you can just keep them. You can put them in a folder. Uh, you can put them in a power project folder. They are a little big, so I don't know. I mean, I, they wouldn't fit in some of my little storage containers, but like I say, mine just hang on a little hook next to my desk and it works great for me. All right, so here's my little templates. And now I can help use these to help me build my build my layout. So now I have this that's going to show me how I can cut this. And yeah, this is going to look great as a four by two. So I'm going to put that up there. Can I do mini as a four by? Oh, look at that. I can get mini as a four by four and keep the cavalcade and keep mini in there perfectly. So that's going to be a four by four. And maybe what I'll do is I'll put them in piles by what size they're going to be. And I think I'll use a post-it note. And I'm sorry, I try not to use these hot pink post-it notes with you because they are 
a little hard on the eyes, but um, I think this will be okay. Four by twos, four by fours, two by twos, and four by six. I think those are the sizes I would like to try and keep it to just these sizes. We don't want to do too, too many sizes. And I definitely want to keep it on the even number. So I got the two by two. Yeah, I won't, and I won't have a six by six. So that's, so this is the one we said this could be in the two by two. And probably this is not something that you guys need to watch the whole, um, the whole process up. So I'm going to go ahead and sort these piles and then I'll be right back once these are sorted in piles. Now that you see how I'm doing it, all right, this is not like this doesn't fit. This cuts off Minnie's head or it cuts them too far. I don't, so I think I'm not going to use that, but then I might use the four by four for this one because that fits well, but I might not be able to use all the four by fours anyway because I have so many. So, all right, so I will sort these into piles and be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and sorted these and turns out I don't have any that are four by six. I do have some photos that are four by six, but nothing I want to keep four by six. You can see that so those are taller. Um, this one, a goofy, is unfortunately the digital size uh, four by 5.3. And I just don't know if that's gonna work. I hate to not put goofy in and I looked back through my the photos I decided not to use and I didn't see a good one of him, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll look through again and see, see what I can do. So now I'm going to trim all of these down. I might not use all of them and I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to use these as a, as a um, cutting guide. Like I don't, I don't measure with these, but I'm going to just look at this on here and see kind of where I want to have the cuts be. So I'm just going to, Kind of cut under here and then once i've made my first cut then i just use the measurements on my um personal trimmer to kind of get this centered so there's my first four by two and then these all these others are going to be two by fours because poor little donald just a little too um a little too tall to go in the two by two all right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these and see if I can find another photo of uh, Goofy that I can put on this layout and be right back. Okay, I did want to save one um, picture just to kind of show you how I do it when I cut. Um, and so for this one, I, there's two little dancers right here, and I can theoretically fit both of them in here, but I think I just want to do this one person. And so rather than having to like mark this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this, the center of this person on the one inch line because I'm cutting a, a two inch square. So I'm just kind of eyeballing this person on the one inch line. And so then I'm just going to cut the, so now this is two inches wide and I'll just do the same thing, like find the middle. Actually this one, I just want to make sure I don't cut off their feet. So maybe I'll do the feet first and do the, um, the the top. And as I've been cutting these, I almost was wishing that instead of doing this on a four inch grid, I was doing it on a three inch grid. So these would be one and a half inches and these would all be three inches. But I have a couple that won't fit um, in a, if I were to cut this down to, well, and I, I, yeah, I wouldn't be able to cut them to one and a half. So it's gonna work fine with the um, with the four inch grid. So take that off. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna put this up here at the top. I think I'll put a two inch square right here of some cardstock. And I probably need some two inch squares to cut. I should probably cut those now too. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is do the, I'm gonna put mini kind of down here put the, all the f little two by twos along the top and bottom. Mini. See, so I'm kind of, I don't know that I'm gonna actually be able to do, I don't know how many I have. If I can do every other 
I might need to cut me another, some more little dancers. And then these will be the four. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to use these dancers, actually. But, I, I mean, I kind of do like the dancers. So maybe I will put some together. Definitely, this, this Mickey could also probably be a two-by-two. Two. I may trim him down and put him um, up here. So I was on the yearbook staff when I was in high school, and a lot, I think, of my love of scrapbooking and my love of doing journaling or doing layouts came from there and the training that I learned. But one of the things that I learned when I was on the yearbook staff in high school was that when you're looking at a double page layout and, and next time you look at a magazine, I want you to, um, I want you to test out this theory. But if you notice when you look in a magazine, this side is always ads and this side is the article. Not always, sometimes you, you know, the, the feature articles, but when you're looking at like a lot of magazines, especially toward the back, this side is the ad. Because when you open a book, your eyes are immediately drawn here. This is like the place that your eyes look first. So this is often where you want to put your focal point and then your eye kind of goes this way. So the least important thing might be over here. That's why we put the title here because that will draw your eye back a lot of times. But this is where you kind of want to do your, your big focal point. So I think I'm going to put this Mickey right here. And I'm going to leave some white space around him, which means I'm not going to put the other Mickey. I might put him, if I cut this little guy, I'll put him up here, Mickey's celebration. And maybe I'll do it like that. Maybe I'll put Mickey at the start and then I'll put this right here. And I'll put him right there. Did I put all my, oh no, here's all my others. So I'll do this. I like that little guy. I don't know. I don't know what it is I really like about this little guy. He's not little. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. You're a full grown man. I'm kind of liking this. I think if I do want to put another Mickey in. Maybe I'll do this. And I think I am going to use for sure um, Birthday Bonanza. And I can't decide. I, I'll need to look at the um, I'll need to look at the sample again to see if they did any that were like double height. I'll put him down here. Mickey, Mickey. Maybe I'll put Minnie up here next to him. Okay, I'm going to cut this down to a two by two. Again, I'm kind of putting his head right on the one inch line so that he'll be centered in my two inch square. And this on the bottom, it's all blocking um, you know, this is just this float. I don't care about that. So I'm going to cut most of that off and that's going to get me the two inches that I need right here. So we'll put Mickey at the top. Two inch, two inch. And I think I do need a couple more little two inch pieces and I need a bunch of two inch and two by four inch, um, squares. I think I might need, I'm going to do one that's lined that I can journal on. I might cut that from some of the photo mats. Um, I'm not loving this right here. Maybe I'll put this. Oh, but see, now I got mini right there. It's funny, people kind of always assume that if you like mini, you also like Mickey. And I mean, I don't dislike mini because, you know, how can you dislike mini? But I'm a Mickey girl. All right, so I need another piece in here. It looks like this paper had some water damage. So I might grab a different paper. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and cut some um, rectangles and squares to go in here. 
And I'm going to do that off camera. You do not need to watch me do that. And I'm actually going to reposition because I can see I've kind of scooted down. I'm going to move my camera and get it all back straight so you can see the whole, um, the whole work surface. And I'll be back. Okay, I have now cut some um, little pieces from, mostly from scraps. I had just random, um, oh, I guess I've thrown them all in the trash, but just some random pieces of the uh, birthday bonanza, you know, stuff I'd cut circles and whatever out of. And, um, you know, kind of like this piece, I was able to cut a section off. So this is a great layout if you have a lot of scraps. And then we can just kind of go back through here and oh that doesn't look like it was actually two inches wide that one's two inches wide that must have been a leftover little piece oh i want this to be the confetti so i want to use some of the some of the front sides and some of the back sides this is feeling too clumped up to me Not sure that the pink quite matches a lot of this is purple i think i want to do a couple right here that are squares so i cut these mostly into two by fours but i'm gonna have to oh, i don't want to use the stripe that's too much or the chains I'm gonna have to cut some more of them down. And I didn't do any of this one. And this is the one um, last week when we were looking at this paper pack, this is kind of the one I thought, oh, this would be great for Mickey's cavalcade. And I did cut up this journal mat because I want to do some journaling and I have two pieces that I can journal. So I'm gonna do that one as a, maybe I might have all the fours that I need. And I'll do some twos. And I would, I still feel like if I want really crisp small squares, I, I like my, um, I like my personal trimmer. Oh, I need some yellow too. Just a couple pieces of the yellow. I don't have any any yellow any pieces filling in down at the bottom yet, do I? Oops, I think I scooted that, trimmed it. Hopefully that one's still a square. If not, we'll have to work around it. I'm not gonna use the balloons on the other side of this one, so I'm not gonna cut all of that. All right, so let's put some of this confetti in for sure. I need a solid up there. And I don't think I'm going to do that with the two squares because I want to put this guy in there. And we'll do a yellow down here. It's the pink. Cut one of these in half. So this is not the kind of grid I usually do. I'm usually more um, more freeform when I do my grids. So this is a little bit of an adventure for me. I think I'm gonna use a little extra of this just cause I want, this was the main one I wanted. Purple, what's on the back of the purple? The chain. Oh, I got one more piece of this blue that I use for journaling. No, I don't wanna put it there though. I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> that is a crazy, crazy busy layout, and I don't know if I like it. Truth be told, I just don't know. So I don't know if I use too many, um, too many squares. I don't know if it needed the bigger squares, the four by sixes that I didn't have, if I did too many of those narrow skinny ones. 
So I think I need to rearrange a little bit because this is like not making me happy. It's just too much, too much. Maybe it's the colors. Maybe I need fewer colors. Maybe it's because it's not straight. I'm not really loving this where we line up with the um, two, two by fours. And I've got one, two, three, one, two, three of these. I wish I had more that went this way. I think that would have really helped if I had some more that I could have gone the other way. And I don't know, maybe I can. So maybe I can turn some of these, but I don't, I don't love this one. I picked the pictures that I liked, although these two I don't necessarily care about. And I could swap out, let's see, who do I have plenty of? I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily love the dancing girl, but I need that four by six or four by four. Hmm. Well, y'all, this, this doesn't happen to me a lot that I get to this stage of a layout and decide that I just don't like it. I'm not quite sure what to do about it. Maybe we need to add some other things, believe it or not. Maybe, maybe it's, it might be too many colors. Maybe that's what it is. Too many colors. There's not pink. There's not green. Maybe I need to bring in fewer colors. Even though I love this one. Make it a little bit less, um, less busy with fewer colors. All right, let me let me play around with this and I'll 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 be back. Okay, I think I like this better. Sadly, taking out a bunch of these other busier patterns made this not quite as obnoxious. I'm going to go ahead and stick everything down. I am going to use repo for this just because I'm going to may have to jiggle these around a little bit once I've gotten them stuck down. But I think I think I'm liking it better now with fewer patterns. I just have the one confetti and these little starbursts, which I'm kind of thinking of as a solid. Same with the polka dots. These are, and the stripes. Um, I'm actually going to journal before I stick things down in case I mess up. And then I'll come back and we'll, you know, have it all stuck down and, and we'll figure out some embellishing. Okay, I've got all our pieces stuck down, all the pictures. I've got the journaling done. I talked about how during COVID, Disney quit during the parades and they switched to the cavalcades. And I talked about how the good news for us was that the parades will be back later in our visit. We got to do both. And that Mickey sure acted happy to see us and that we missed him too. And that we saw Mickey's cavalcade four times on this trip. So this is super busy and maybe it needs to be done. But when I look at the sample or the inspiration idea, they put a few little banners and some little embellishments and things on there. They have fewer pictures than I do, and I think that that's what made the difference. Um, but it needs, I think it needs a few little things to break up all the squares. So I think I'm gonna use the embellishments that have these little poofy things in them. What are these called? Anybody know what these things are called? Um, I guess I don't, I don't, there's some more balloons we could have used on the, um, one of the other pages we did with this. We could do hip, hip, hooray. That wouldn't be too terrible. That one, I won't use the pink one. Maybe I will. I don't know. And that one. So I've got all of these. So maybe those could go, 
I've got some of those on here with the stars and the stickers. I think it's going to be too much. Um, you so much fun. I think I'm not going to use any of these stickers, though. This kind of is bothering me. So maybe I use... Oh, maybe I use that down here. Hip, hip, hooray. That's a bit much. So I'm going to ask a favor. Um, I, I don't love this layout. This is not my favorite layout I've ever had. And people always decide to tell me in the comments when they don't like a layout. You don't have to tell me that you don't like this one. <laughs> if you don't like it, that's okay. I don't like it either, but it will probably still hurt my feelings for you to tell me that you don't like it. And maybe I'll, maybe who knows, maybe I'll, I'll grow to like it. Oh, I've got these little enamel dots too. Maybe that's what I need are some of these little tiny enamel dots. I do the, um, I'll put this up here and some of the enamels. This doesn't really fit anywhere. One's too big. Yeah, that could go. I don't, I don't, I don't hate that. I think I'm gonna foam square this. I don't usually use adhesives. Um, or I don't, I don't usually like to stick things to the top of a photo, but um, just because in case you ever do want to take it off. But this photo, I mean, nobody's gonna ever need to to take this photo off to use for a school project or you know ancestry.com or anything like that. So I think we're going to be okay to put a, something on here because this big blue box is annoying me. Um, I wish I had one that just said like fun or happy. Oh, I guess it said happy birthday. I wonder if I could cut off the happy birthday. But we'll do hip hip hooray right here by Mickey. And then that's awfully big to go up there. I feel like I need to do two of them right here, which means I can't put that one there, which means that has to go right there. Regular adhesive. I actually think this kind of breaks up the squares a little bit and maybe it will make it, make it, make me like it better. That's gonna need some foam squares. Just a couple. I don't like to do foam squares too often in the middle because the middle of the book is always thicker, but I think this needs it. And I don't have a lot of pink on this layout. There's a little bit in here, but I'm still gonna use this pink one because otherwise I will never use it anywhere else in my album. Although I probably end up having to get more um, more embellishments. Okay, I'm not not hating it as much as I was hating it. And I think I am gonna throw in a few of these little epoxies just hmm. just to make it a little happier. I'll put this one, even though it's the same color. Okay, I won't put that one. Okay. Um, I think we're done. Um, like I say, not my favorite layout. It didn't really turn out the way I had hoped it would. I wonder if I have any little words that could come on here. Mm -mm -mm. None of these. There might be something in one of the other sticker packs. You know, sometimes we have a whole bunch. You know what I'm going to check is my 
um, totally tonals and see if I can find something to go in there. So if I do, um, I will, yeah. Let me check for totally tonals. Be right back. Okay, I have a couple of the totally tonals handy. Don't really know where the other ones are. And these are the wrong colors. I can't really use the orange, but I could use some of these black and white ones. Um, yeah, best day ever. I don't, I mean, yeah, probably best day ever. But I also have these. These tonal words were um, a uh, incentive. I don't even know how we earned these. I don't think I can use those or those, but maybe I could use something of these. I mean, Imagine would be perfect for Disney. But... Dream, beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. I don't, I don't know. I think I might just have to leave it. I would kind of like to have some little maybe banners, little something. Kind of like these little banners. But I, I'm afraid it's just going to be too much. So, um, but I don't love it. So who knows what may happen. Um, if, if I decide to add something to this later, I'll come back in a future video at the end and uh, and give you an update. But for now, I think this is going to have to be it. I would love to know, what do you do when you have a layout and then you get it all done and you realize, I just don't like this? Um, it doesn't happen to me a lot. Usually I'm able to salvage it somehow. This one is better now than when it had all the colors on it. Um, which just makes me sad because I love this pink and now I got all these little squares. But I made a rule years ago when I very first started scrapbooking, I made a rule for myself that I cannot go back and redo a layout until I am caught up. All right, hopefully you laugh when I said that because very few scrapbookers I know, in fact, I can only think of one that I know that is caught up. And... um and so I'm not going to redo this. Even though I don't love it, it's going to go in my book. It's just the cavalcade. It's not, you know, my child's senior pictures or anything like that. What do you do when you have a, a layout that you don't love? Do you keep working at it till you love it? Do you redo it? I'd love to know in the comments what it is you do when you have a layout that you don't love. I'm sorry that I couldn't give you a layout that we could love. And maybe it's going to grow on me. But... um but that's part of the process too, right? Is that not always is it our favorite layout ever? But like I say, it's it, it's growing on me a little bit and and it it'll be fine. It'll be fine in the book. So don't need to tell me if you if you also don't love it. Um if you love it, maybe you do need to tell me that cuz I'm I'm feeling a little uh a little annoyed with it. And I don't think I'm going to be using those particular sketches for my Pinterest board ever again. I think maybe if I could have left a gap or something, I might like it better. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. And um, yeah. All right. I'll be back next week. We'll be, uh, will we be into December? I think we will be into December next week. Man, if you are local to me in Madison, Huntsville, Alabama, my open house is tomorrow. Black Friday and Saturday. Yes, I know it's the Iron Bowl. Um, some people like to get away from the house during the Iron Bowl. Um, if you would like to stop by, please, please go to my website, Nicole'sScrapbooks.com or my Facebook page. Also, Nicole Scrapbooks for details and information. I would love to meet you, to see you. Um, I have some make and take, some free gifts, some gifts with purchase, and some uh, products that will be on special. It's the only time of the year that I put things on sale is at my open house. So I would love to see you. And um, if not, I'll see you back here again on YouTube uh, next Thursday uh, for Theme Park Thursday. And the next time we have new products or I get an album finished to do an album flip through. So thanks so much for watching. Happy Thanksgiving and happy scrapbooking. All right, friends, so I filmed most of this video yesterday, and then I 
slept on it overnight and all I could think about was how much I didn't like how this layout had turned out, how busy it was. And so I came down and I should have done this on camera, but I didn't, sorry. Um, but I put the little white strips, I just cut little eighth of an inch strips of white with my trimmer and stuck them down and I feel like it's changed everything. I don't hate this layout anymore. I think it was just, everything was, it was too much. It was too um, squished together. But now that the the white lines are on, it's like a Mondrian painting, right? And I love Mondrian paintings. So now I love it. Now it's totally fine. It's not, it's, I mean, it's still super busy, but it doesn't just feel like a big blah together. So the interesting thing is that after I did this, I actually went back to last week's layout and I did the same thing. So I don't, I don't have a before picture to show you. Maybe I can, uh, if I can make it work in the magic of video, I'll put a, I'll put a before picture in right here. Woo. Right. Okay. Hopefully that worked. And then here's the after. And I just put um, some more, some little yellow lines. I had some of this yellow paper left and I just put them like at the top and bottom right here between these pictures and right here. And I think it really made a difference. So hopefully you can tell the difference, but um, you know, just to put those little, those little pieces. And so now, you know, now I don't hate it. So thanks for, um, you know, being here for the process. And, and sometimes it does mean you sleep on it and you come back the next day and you, um, you know, you figure out something that will make it work. And, you know, if you have a layout that you really, really hate, you can change it. Or maybe you'll figure something out. And I figured something out and I really like it. Although now I'm like looking at these little pink thinking, oh, I should use pink lines. I'm not going back. I'm using the white lines. I think it worked great. Um, and I'm glad I was able to make it work. So happy Thanksgiving. Um, I appreciate you. I am thankful for you. You guys are, have been such a great uh, addition to my scrapbooking life. Who would have thought that uh, I could get to be friends with people through YouTube of all things? Um, but I appreciate your comments. I love when you share your version of my layouts with me. And I look forward to interacting with you more as we continue to go through this next um, several weeks. I mean, it's probably be about a year. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it'll be 40 or 50 layouts. So it could be a whole year with our theme park Thursday. So we'll see how we do. Uh, appreciate your feedback. Appreciate your uh, comments, your watches, your likes. And, um, and I'll, uh, I'll see you again uh, next week. We'll be in December, believe it or not. So happy Thanksgiving again. And of course, happy scrapbooking.